from your own watch. So my question is that uh, Elon was saying that if you discover your real aptitude in life, what you are good at, then you will be very successful. So about 90 percent of people spend their whole life doing something that they are neither good at nor like. So at this stage, how should we discover what we are good at, like whatever we are good at? How should we discover that? Good, Prana. Prana. Being good at something is not a matter of proficiency in a certain skill. What do you mean by being good at something? What do you mean by being good at something? We'll go into this question. You are good at something when that thing takes you to your center and what is at the center a certain calmness and peace doing something if you feel relaxed joyful peaceful then you are good at it it doesn't matter what is the level of your skill so don't ask me what am I good at how do I discover that turn the question a little and ask what is good for me not what I am good at what is good for me should that not be a more fundamental question sir what is good for me what should I do find that out which dissolves you and you will certainly find something of that kind it has to be there Hmm? There is nobody here who would not have experienced moments of dissolution. And that applies not only to a certain task, it also applies to everything else in life. You are asking what to do, do that which dissolves you. How to choose people to be with, to whom should I relate? Who should be my partner and companion? That person with whom you feel dissolved. Where there is relaxation and peace. Where there is no need to keep thinking and calculating. That is the person who is right for you. Whether it's a job or a wife or a house there is one common way of coming to the right decision. See whether the presence of that place or person or work gives you peace and nothing else matters. That's why I'm repeatedly saying see whether it dissolves you. Dissolution means that there is nothing more that's going on here. You know, that constant noise, clutter is gone. I'm just myself, simple being. I don't have to be pretend, I don't need to be pretending to be somebody else. If in a particular office, you always need to have a persona, a mask, then that office is not for you. A famous entrepreneur, he said, if you love flying kites, Fly kites, but then fly kites with all your heart. That's what is good for you. Hmm? There is a particular name for such a work. Such a work is not called work anymore. This work is then called calling. Hmm? What is it called? Calling. This is my calling. And remember, calling is always unique. You cannot have a hundred people in this hall with same or similar callings. That's why I'm often amused when I see that a particular company comes to hire in a college campus and 400 students are applying. How can 400 of you be enamored by the same job? How is it possible? In everything else, 
you want uniqueness don't you but in matters that are so central to living like work you become a flock of sheep why you won't tolerate if all of you are made to wear the same t-shirt even a uniform you won't like it would you then how do you like all of you being in the same organization in the same role in the same capacity but that's our dream don't worry whether you will get enough money existence has ways to sustain you you see where your heart lies and that could be something very unique it could be so unique that it becomes scary it is often scary that's why we are afraid of pursuing it we leave it we say i don't want to go into it what do i like i just like reading comic strips now comics is an engineer meant to spend his life with comics you never know you never know what's in store for you go ahead stay with it have the guts that is what is good for you and you'll find it it's impossible that you don't have anything in life that simply calms you down it's impossible and if it's not there then it's not yet too late try explore figure out you'll get something but don't settle pranay for a second hand life don't go in a particular direction just because it's the order of the day hmm you have just one life and it is very very precious it's not meant to be spent sleepwalking